And now March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths in both men and women. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis joins us live this morning at Baptist East. And Bethany, this is all about simply raising awareness. You know, it, it's about starting a conversation, too, uh, about some things that are really difficult to discuss, things like colonoscopies that a lot of people don't necessarily want to start a conversation about. This is Jennifer Connor, who is the president or the president of the board of the Cancer Wellness Foundation, but also the Women in Blue founder. Let's talk a, a little bit about why we need to be discussing that. These are hard conversations to start, especially among women, but they are really important. It truly is. It's honestly a, a conversation that we want to bring awareness to. You know, 150,000 people are diagnosed every year with colon cancer. If we could change that and bring it to half, that would be an amazing thing. But you know, it's a conversation that many women don't want to have and you know, it's a leading cause of death in some of these women. So just understanding some of the signs and symptoms such as changes in your bowel habits, you know, abdominal pain, you know, lo loss of appetite. You know, if anybody's having those symptoms, you know, please bring awareness to your doctor or just have the conversation. And again, having the screenings is very important. If we can save one life by having a screening at the age of 45, what could we do in the lo a lifetime? for everybody else. Yeah, the recommendations for those screenings, the age has actually been lowered from 50 to 45. We should be start, start screening at 45, but when should we start really talking about it and really thinking about it? You know, I think we should talk about it any day, at any age. You know, there are a lot of people that have a genetic link that can link them to early colon cancer. So if a family history has uh, polyps, you know, we really need to be knowing, aware of that and also letting know your physicians that your family has a history of polyps because the polyps can lead to cancer. So if there's a family history of that, then we always recommend screening earlier than 45. And those are conversations that we would want somebody to have with their physician. And you've seen firsthand how these screenings they can be life-saving. They can be the difference in in a, a prognosis. Absolutely. I mean, I you know we see patients every day here at the Montgomery Cancer Center, and you know there are a lot of fortunate people, and then there's other unfortunate people. So again, it's just bringing the awareness, and that's what was my whole goal with this campaign six years ago was to bring awareness and get people talking about it out in the open because I know we don't like to talk about things that are uncomfortable, but you know especially in public. It is, and it is a difficult discussion. It's not an easy discussion to have. It's not an easy topic really that a lot of women especially want to talk about, but we do know that it's important. And that's why there are 20 women this month who have committed to wearing blue every day of the month to start that conversation and to raise money for the Cancer Wellness Foundation, which will go right back into cancer patients in the River Region. WSFA 12 News reporter Julia Azant is actually one of those 20 women this year, guys. All right, Bethany, thank you. We have a link to Julia's site. If you want to donate, you can find all that information donating on her behalf by going to WSFA.com.